hey guys so this is gonna be a short tutorial on this Jamaican bounce so let's just drop right into the video so here is my braid patterns guys uh, I just braided my hair to the back and I did like a two braids at the end of my hair just in case I need to pack it up and I also joined two cameras at the middle and at both sides so here's what we need to do you take your crochet hook, you slide it under your braid, then you put the air, you close it up, you slide it out, you open the loop, then you slide out the braid, and that is it. So guys, I used color 1B and I used three and a half packs of this Jamaica bounce. I got this air from samsbeauty.com I will put the link down in the description box so you guys can check it out in case you need to get it I split this air into two at the middle of my air and at the back but when I was working towards the front I mean very front I split the air into four and sometimes five because I don't want to damage my edges and I use very small amount of the air at the towards my edges area So now guys, I'm going to show you how I did the knotless method, the natural part method. And what you need to do is just the normal way you draw crochet. But what is different is that instead of you grabbing the whole air inside the loop, you only stick one strand of your air, then you pull it apart. And again, you slide your crochet hook under your braid. And you make sure the hook is open before you slide into your braid. Then you put the air, you close it up, you slide it out. But instead of you taking putting the whole air into the loop, you only take one strand of the air, just like so. You only take one strand of the air into the loop, then you separate it. Just that's it, and that is what you need to do to get your knot legs part, the natural part. And here's the final result guys, this is what I'm talking about, the necklace method, I mean it doesn't look like you crochet the path, it looks so natural. Yeah guys, so my plan was to leave this a, I mean to trim this a little bit, but I went ahead and cut it way too short, which I still love, but you guys can rock this a like this, you don't need to cut it if you don't want to. And so this is the air please ignore me i was talking about the reason why i don't do talk to videos and it's because of my background uh yes uh where i make my videos is very close to the main road so i don't if i have to do the talk to videos you guys won't be able to hear me very well because of the cars passing through so that's what that was what i was trying to explain in this video and <laughs> yes guys so please ignore me talking and no i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i just want to wish you all a happy new year and i hope to see you guys in the coming year 2017 is gonna be great it's gonna be wonderful for us all and i wish you a happy new year and hope to see you again next year just want to say thank you all for your support this is gonna be my last video in 2016 Thank you guys so much for your love, for your support, for everything. I really appreciate you, every one of you guys. And happy new year to you all. See you in year 2017. Bye.